Growing up, I didn't really, like polygamy, I didn't really understand it. Like I didn't know that there was another way, that it was, that we were different. It was just the way it was. Does anyone know that you're completely leaving, not just him, but completely leaving the order and taking your daughters with you? No. The Hannah I knew growing up would do what it takes to protect her daughters. You're completely done with him. Would he be able to pull you back in? I got a call from Hannah, and she is nervous about something. The plan is in motion, so for her to call and be a little nervous about it, I'm really worried. I hope we don't lose her, because we've lost a few before. I'm really nervous. I'm worried about what's going to happen with my kids. I think that's definitely something that we should worry about. The Kingstons definitely think they're above the law. They have a history of doing that. You just never know what measures they're going to go to when you take their women away from them and their daughters away from them. Yeah, it scares me, really what they will do, what they could do, what they're capable of. They've placed her in a home that's like in the middle of nowhere. So if something were to happen, nobody would really know for a while. And there's, I mean, it's hard to even get cell phone service out here. They do have access to guns. If somebody were to get out here, they would have quick access to a lot of guns. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, we just need to make it quick. So there's only one way and one way out. You got 30, 45 minutes tops to do this. By the time if something does happen to call, we're 30 minutes away from anybody. Yeah, 10. Worst case scenario, what could happen if they could show up over here? They could try to ambush us, or they could try to block us in if there's only one way to get in there. So it's not necessarily about her, but about our kids. They yeah. want those kids, especially if they're girls. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get out of here then. Five o'clock, we got to be gone. Is anyone here right now? No, there's not. OK, I want this bedroom set in here. How are you feeling? Super nervous. I just want to get out of here. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Hurry. What do you think he's going to think when he comes home and his stuff is just gone? He should have expected it. You got 10 minutes. You guys ready? Go. Hurry. We just got to keep moving. Clock's ticking. What do you want to do with these wedding photos? Just leave them. I just don't want them. You save that for his next wife. Hey. Let's get out of here. Already? Oh my gosh, this is it. That's it. Pack it up. Let's go. Shut the door. Let's get out of here. We got more. We got more. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's get out of here. This move is about my kids. It's about my girls. My father is going to try to take my girls from me fight for them, but they're not going to live in polygamy. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. This yeah. is the house this right here. This is the house. Oh, my word. I'm lucky. My girls are lucky, but I'm nervous about what's going to happen for my future. Are you OK? He's texting me. He's asking where I'm at. Your husband is? Yeah. Oh, no. Where are you at when you're coming back? I'm scared. I'm scared he's going to come looking for me. Did you tell anybody that we found this house for you? I told a few people. So we, we probably should get out of here. Let's keep, a, let's keep you and your girls safe. Hannah's husband's looking to find her and probably bring her back before she's gone emotionally out enough to say no to him. I'm nervous for what's going to happen when we're not here. <laughs>